Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? Today is March 17th and along with the rest of the world, we here in the United States are in the middle of a coronavirus outbreak. I'm not gonna really talk about the disease too much. I will leave some links down below if you wanna find more information about how to keep yourself and your family safe. But I've just been cooped up inside the house watching the news reports and just kind of freaking out over the whole situation. So I just needed some good old nature time. I went out to the Hoosier Prairie, which is a local nature preserve here in Northwest Indiana. And all my life that I've lived here, I've never been here before. So I figured, you know what? This is a good time to do a good old fashioned vlog. This nature preserve was established in 1977 and it features about 350 unique plant species. It is mid-March, so we're not really seeing too much come out yet, just yet, but it is really cool to be able to see the wetlands right up close. This is the traditional topography of Northwest Indiana. We have a lot of dunes and we have a lot of wetlands and uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. I will say this, all of humanity is in this together, whether you're in Italy or the United States or Japan. I feel like if we just follow the proper precautions and do what the experts recommend, you know, I'm not an expert, but I will believe and trust their expertise on this matter. I will do whatever they recommend so that we all stay safe and we can get through this together. So even though this area is very highly urbanized and we have major roads and oil refineries right there, I did see a glimpse of wildlife nature. Did you see that deer that I just captured? It's just a reminder, you know, that there's not just humans all around us. We do have wildlife and, you know, we must do whatever we can to protect them which is why it's important that we have uh, nature preserves like this set up around here. The trail continues further down. I'm not gonna be able to make my way there right now. It is quite flooded. So I will have to make my way back here when it is a lot warmer and some of the wetlands around here do dry up for the summer. But it is very cool just being out here and experiencing it all. So some of you guys might be wondering what does this mean for the future of the travel community here on YouTube. I myself will not be traveling anywhere in the near future and I encourage you to do the same. I do have a lot of videos that are backlogged which I will be releasing in the future so just know that those happened a couple months ago. I will be filming videos this year. I will be doing more local nature adventures this year. Again keeping mindful of uh, the local healthcare authorities and you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try to keep myself sane during this time of crisis and I encourage you to do the same. If you are quarantined, maybe read a book, learn to play an instrument or kind of, you know, work on perfecting your craft, whatever that may be. I am so glad that I came out here today. The sun feels great, especially having been locked up the past couple days. But I'm gonna end the video right here. Enough rambling. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below how you are coping with this. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video very shortly. Well, I'm still always been a